In this demonstration now, we'll take a look at those Terraform execution steps around plan, apply, and destroy, and we'll start off in Visual Studio Code. So I'm in Visual Studio Code right now, and as you can see, I've got a very basic Terraform file. That's all it's going to do. Don't worry about the other files yet. We'll get into building these out in the next module. But right now, I'm simply creating a resource group, and it's going to be called Skylines Execution Demo. And it's just going to build that resource group with a tag that says the owner is Nick Collier. And to begin with, I'm going to go over to PowerShell. And in our Module 4 folder, I'm going to expand out. And you can see we have our main.tf and various other TF files in there. Again, don't worry too much at the moment. But I'm going to do a Terraform plan, first of all. And what this will show me is that it's going to create, you'll see this green plus come up that says it's going to create a resource. Terraform will perform the following actions and it says plus, here is that resource type again, Azure RM resource group dot resource GP. That's the name I've given it in this case of the resource for Terraform. And then the ID, location, the name of the resource in Azure. So again, these are all Azure specifics now. So I'm saying put it in East US put the set the name as skylines dash execution dash demo and set my tag to the owner tag I should say to Nick Collier the plan is one resource to add zero to change and zero to destroy now if I want to go ahead I can do terraform apply we'll go over to Azure just to verify I don't have anything there already so as you can see we're in Azure we've refreshed the resource groups Nothing there that, you know, corresponds to what we're creating, which makes sense because otherwise, you know, Terraform would have said, hey, you've already got something here. But um, in this case, it's going to create that brand new resource group. So if we go back over to PowerShell and I do Terraform, apply, it will prompt me and I can type in yes. Only yes will be accepted to approve. You'll see it's creating and creation is complete. It's extremely quick to obviously create a resource group in Azure. And then you'll get this note, apply complete, one resource added, zero changed, zero destroyed. If we go over to Azure, refresh, we can see Skyline's execution demo is there. And now I want to go ahead and destroy it. Terraform destroy, hit enter. Again, now look at the difference. It shows us it's going to do a, you know, it's a red minus for destroy. It's going to remove this resource. Same syntax as before. The plan is zero to add, zero to change, one to destroy. Do you really want to destroy it? Very important. Again, if you aren't sure or this isn't something you're controlling, you know, make sure that, you know, you, you know what you're destroying here because it's irreversible. You can if you want to in Azure, if you're very concerned go in and put a lock on resources. So for right now, I've just confirmed this will actually destroy. We'll let that go ahead and then I'll show you very quickly as we apply it again, how we actually would go and put that lock on there. And you'll see if you've got a lock on something, it won't actually let you destroy it in Azure because you've got that resource lock in place. Okay, and after it looks like 45 seconds or so, that destroy completed. We go over to Azure, let's refresh. And again, we see that's gone. I'm going to go ahead and apply it again. So that should build in just a second for us again. Go over to Azure, refresh. If I select the Skylines execution demo and go down to locks, can put a resource lock on here. So I'll do DND, so we'll call it SLDND for do not delete. And then lock type, we'll put a delete lock on it and select OK. So now when I go to Terraform, if I try to delete this, I say yes to it. As you can see, an error occurs, it cannot delete it because the scope is locked for that particular resource. Now, I'm not proposing that you go and put locks on the things you create with Terraform. The point here is to show you that if you have other things in your environment that you aren't building and destroying that make sense for Terraform, 
and you want to prevent accidental deletion using a resource lock on things like your shared hub infrastructure in Azure, you know, and even networking and AD servers, things like that, it's helpful to put resource locks on them to prevent any accidental deletion. But Terraform isn't going to go after that. It's more of just a safety net for you. If you want to just go ahead and build and destroy, build and destroy Terraform, you can do that safely. But just note, obviously, when you are destroying with this, it is just going to remove all of those objects that you've created. It's also then worth noting, what does Terraform control? And if we go back over to Visual Studio Code, you'll see there is this file called terraform.tfstate. And this will tell you, if you scroll through this, all of the items that Terraform is basically controlling under this Terraform file. This is the state, and you can refresh the state as well. There's commands for that. Uh, but these are the items that essentially it is monitoring and checking against to make sure you know its state matches that of the of the endpoint that you're using. With that, this concludes this demonstration, and now we can move on to the next module where we'll start building out our Terraform code and authenticating with Azure.